Hello guys, welcome to the channel again. In today's video we'll see to create this awesome navigation system. You can see we have a navigation heading at the center, and we have a toggle button on the top right corner. On clicking on it, we are getting this amazing navbar links. We have a smooth hover effect to these links. And you can also see these rotated text are looking awesome. Guys, do let me know in comments that should I make these small tutorial videos as well or not. And also before starting to the code. I'll show you a e-commerce website design that I am thinking to make a tutorial series on. Do let me know your thoughts about the design. These are the designs that I made for the full stack e-commerce website. If you like my content, subscribing my channel would be appreciable. And also guys, can we reach 5k subs till the end of this month? Let's reach 5k subs this month. Are you ready for that? Without wasting more time let's start the video. Let's start with HTML5 template. Give a title for the page. And link style.css file and app.js file to the page. Now first let's create the heading that we had in the center. For that make an h1 element and give it a class heading. You can see the heading element. Now let's style this. Star selector is a universal selector which means properties declared inside this apply to all elements. It's a good practice to set margin and adding of each element to zero. Give 100% width to the body with 100 VH height. If you don't specify the height, we'll not able to use flex box here. Use display flex to align the heading to the center of the screen. As it is the only element in the document for now. Give a background color as you like, and color, font family properties like this. After all this, let's create the links. For that make a container with class links container. And inside this, make anchor tag or links for the root. Inside a tag you can give image, so use image tag to make an image inside the a tag. Copy this 5 times and change the images. We get the images, but these are too big. So let's style them. Give 100% width and height to links container, because we want it to cover whole screen. Give position fixed, so it will stay on top always. By adding display flex, we'll get the images side by side. Position relative is very important to the links, because we'll make some absolute element. Set its overflow to hidden to hide overflow if any. Now we have to set images size. As they are not perfect. Give 100% width and height to the image. You can see the images are stretching to fix this. Give object fit to cover. This will size the image without breaking its proportions. Add transition to it for smooth effect. Hover is used to add or style the element when being hover. Rotate and scale the image when being hover.
Now use after pseudo element to create a black overlay over the link. Set its position to absolute. Set its width and height to 100%. To cover up the link. Set its opacity to 0, and set it back to 0 0.4 when link being hover. Add P element after image element for text. Now style the text. Set its position to absolute to make it in bottom. Bottom and right values depend on text's width and height. Use transform to rotate the text. Our links are done. Let's create toggle button now. Set its position to fixed, so it will always stay on top. Use Z index to make the toggle button on the top of links. Give absolute position to span element. And use top left property to place the spans. Nth selector used to select nth number of element. Now rotate the span element when toggle button contain active class also. Rotate it to negative 45 degree. Add hide class to links container. This class will use to show and hide the link. Set default opacity to 1. And opacity to 0 when having hide class. If you see our links are not visible, but you can see we are getting the hand pointer. This is because our link are still there and clickable. And we can't use display none. Because you can't add smooth transition to display. So to fix this, we'll use pointer event property. 
This will set the element is clickable, disable, or what. Set default pointer event to all making it fully clickable. But change it to none inside hide class. Now we are not getting the hand icons. Now to make this navbar functional, we have to use JS. Select toggle button and links container using query selector method. Query selector method is used to elect HTML element in JS. You have to access the element on the same way as we select them in CSS. For instance using dot at the beginning for the class selector. Now use add event listener method to add click event to the toggle button. You can also use on click function to add click event. Inside this, just toggle the classes for the elements that we have styled in our CSS. Use classList.toggle method for that. Oh, I forgot to add transition to spans. Let's add transition. We are done. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to give a like to the video. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe the channel for more awesome content. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. And make the subs cross 5k till the end of this month. Thanks for watching.